make a YouTube video from this. I I could, I could. Do you guys think that I explained this okay? Because I think I I think I explained it in a fairly short amount of time, like 10 minutes, 20 maybe. So it would be a reasonable video to upload. But do you think that I explained it okay, that it would make for a good video? Because if yes, I, I could do that. Yes? You explained it pretty well. All right, I'll... All right, I'll think about it. Yes, yes. All right, I'll think about it. I'll, I could do that. And now I'll rise above you. I'm going to make some examples on how to fix some of these things, okay? Just give me a sec. I mean, I guess I could try to be something really nasty, I guess. Let's go with Woo Cringe. All right, capture. Let's go with Mercury again. Okay, so this is a capture mission, right? AKA apprehension mission, AKA arrest mission. Our goal is to get the target, get to the target and basically apprehend them, right? Because for some reason we're the space police. Now I can think of a number of ways that a mission can look like that, right? Look like an apprehension. A number of ways that you could make it, make it, uh, well, make it an actual game design. Other games have many, many different ways of doing it. Warframe does this. Get out of that, you idiot. How very nice! There we have one variation. Yeah, I'm not going to go through with this here. So, I have to kill 35 enemies now randomly for no fucking reason at all. Fair, but still. In other words, I would get in here, I would go over there, I would blast the shit out of the, out of the guy. And uh, then get a pat on the back. And uh, job well done, right? That's that's how this would look. Okay. Okay, so that was a low-level capture. Surely a higher-level capture is going to make all the difference. There we go. DE be using strategy to stop criticism. True. Because they have to nerf that power creep. Uh, Jizo, there's, there's one massive problem, not just tougher enemies, we're uh, way too OP and DE are scared to not trigger their player base. I don't know what that pertains to, but it sounds like BS. Alright, so here we go. Energy again. And this is, I'm only doing this so that I can actually move fast. The, my, the speed at which I'm moving has absolutely nothing to do with it. I just want to move really fast because this ain't fun. It's a chore. Adaro on Sedna isn't capture. Change of plans, leave nothing alive. So here we go. New planet, higher enemy level. Surely this here is different, right? One hit. Go in, beat or shoot the shit out of them. Yeet. Oops.
that's a capture mission in Warframe. AKA an arrest, AKA an apprehension. Much excited, right? Poggers. I know, right? Insane. Absolutely insane. And you have you have players out there, unfortunately, that still are kind of blind, and this is very easy to fall for. I fell for it too when I started playing Warframe, but it's very, very easy to fall for the trap of Warframe has so much content because look at all the Star Trek, all of these missions, 230 missions roughly. Yes, there are 230 individual missions to do, not unique missions though. The number of missions you have, you can count right here. These are the missions that we have, 15 or whatever, how many we counted, excluding these here, right? Because Conclave doesn't count, right? We have like 15 missions or so, and each one of these we do like 10 times each. More even, right? We do each one of these here like 10 times across the entire star chart. You can't tell me that doing capture for the 15th time on a different level uh, with a different skin makes any difference, right? Innovation. Yeah. The future. Core problem is enemies need rework. Smarter enemies will make the power creep. Infinite scaling issue very less important. Yeah, sure, but it needs to go further. These mission types haven't been touched since the game's release, okay? Uh, so you're looking at capture missions, right? Capture mission is if you go to the very first capture mission that you encounter while playing through the regular star chart, right? Between the very first capture mission, some mid-range capture mission, and the very last capture mission, aka high level, or even steel path capture missions, there's literally no difference other than that the level is reskinned and in some cases the enemies are reskinned, right? Other than that, literally everything step by step is identical, right? I don't think that Warframe has to be just that. If we're looking at only the capture missions, for example, we can apply this to all of the missions and make all of them more exciting and more meaningful and more impactful. But uh, for the sake of this example, we're going to go with captures. So what is a capture, right? A capture is, like I said earlier, a apprehension. It is an arrest. I mean, according to our lore and the Lotus's position toward the Tenno and what we're doing in the world, apparently Operator, we're somehow we the space space flyer. police, right? Apparently we are the authority in uh, in in the universe, right? And we decide who is bad and who isn't and who needs to be put in their place and who doesn't, right? Okay, so if we're sent on a mission which, you know, like soldiers, mercenaries, etc., etc., uh, are sent on missions. Um, if we're sent on a mission to capture someone, then I think it's fair to say that this person is probably a high priority target, right? Okay. Maybe it's a Grenier scientist or something that has uh, developed some tech to create a weapon that could kill. Um, a lot of lot of people or whatever or even destroy the Tenno or you know whatever any 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 reason you can think of millions of reasons right with one brainstorm of why a uh, high priority target would be a high priority target right okay so we have the mission premise idea there's a target that's that we want for some reason they're dangerous and we need them alive so capture or aka arrest or just apprehension um, so it's probably safe to say that this target isn't going to be found somewhere on a beach chilling by himself and we can just go over there and pluck him with our orbiter, right? That'd be kind of a little bit too easy. I think it would probably be safe to say that this target would be guarded somehow, right? Maybe even in some kind of a fort or something, uh, which you could easily create within the tile sets that we already have. Think of the, uh, defection. The defection missions, the place where you take the uh, the guys that you're saving, when they go up the two ramps and then behind there, there's a ship that takes them out. That that exact room might as well just be like a cage that keeps people out or like, you know, a vault or something like that. For example, there are many, 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 many different ideas. Or if you look at the uh, capture missions in the void, the enemies that you have to chase down, they run to a room, to a vault room, right? Uh, within the void same thing. It, it doesn't matter. It's very easy to implement that and if not, it's very easy to build it Okay, so they're going to be so they're important. We need them alive. We are not allowed to kill them 
uh, otherwise mission failed, for example, okay? We know that we need them alive. Uh, we know that they're probably going to be guarded in some way or another. And we know that they're probably going to be within some kind of a compound or something that we can't just, you know, beam to and teleport them out, you know, like Star Trek or whatever. Okay. So imagine you have now the, uh, the, the premise on why you want to even get this target. You're sent in by the Lotus. And the first order of business is to find a way into this compound, right? Let me see if I can actually find just a quick picture to show you guys. Just to illustrate, kind of. Uh, let's go Saris because Saris looks cool. Let's see. Um, maybe. Um, actually, that's the rescue room. I think I could show you with the rescue room. Well, anyways, then maybe there's a picture here, a better angle. A rescue room. Jesus, even these pictures here are all kind of uh, copy-paste. Look at that. There it is. Yeah, okay, so if you guys look closely at this room behind this infested here, you'll notice that it is the rescue room uh, of this particular Grenier tile. You can see that on one of these sides... No, wait, is that even it? No, it has to be, because there are things up there. Or is that a changed version? Well, it doesn't matter. But in any case, the rescue room looks very similar to this, if that isn't actually it. You see on the right side, back end, there are some stairs. Those lead up to the ramp where you can hack the thing and blah, blah, blah. You know, basically any rescue mission, right? They all have some kind of a vault that you have to break into to rescue someone. Well, why not also basically a vault that you have to break in to, to, to capture the guy in the first place, you know? Something like that. So the idea would be you drop into the mission... You have to get to the po place first. You can do it via sneaking or you can go in guns blazing. I'll get to that because you have two choices, right? I'll get to that in a second. Actually, no, let's go over it now. If you decide to go in there guns blazing, then of course the entire compound will probably be able to figure out that you, Tenno, are here to pick up that capture target, right? So what they're going to do is fortify. Set up turrets and stuff like that. Set up grenier formations that when you do come into the room, they can all open fire on you. And you have like a row of shield uh, lancer guys behind them. You might have heavy gunners and behind them you might have two or three bombards or whatever. You know, they might set up a trap or something or whatever. As naturally, you can probably comprehend that if you're on low levels, that might not happen. Maybe there'll be just one guard, one bombard guarding the guy and you can kill him and you'll be good to go. But as you get higher in enemy levels, you know, where basically as you're ranking up as a Tenno, the Lotus put, uh, sends you to more difficult, more challenging, more dangerous missions. AKA, you can tackle more dangerous targets. So the higher level you go, the more fortified they would be, right? The more things they would throw at you to stop you from apprehending this VIP target, okay? If you go in stealth, then you could potentially find your way all the way to the vault and get the guy silently, and then you just have to find a way to break out, right? Okay, now we have to tweak the mechanics severely. Whichever direction you decide to take, either go in, guns blazing, or stealth, it doesn't matter, but you're now at the actual core of the mission where you have to actually apprehend the guy. He's not just going to stand there and be like, here you go. Unless that might be another option if you manage to kill all the enemies within a certain amount of time because you basically scare the target and he's like, I'm not fucking with this Tenno and he just like gives up and doesn't run away. Or if that doesn't trigger and he does decide to run away, well, you can't just shoot him in the back with a Tonkor and blow up all, blow his ass up and then hover over his body and he just kind of evaporates into thin air and uh, good job, well done. No. I've said this a couple times, something along the lines of shoot them in a weak point, like their kneecap as they're running away, or their calf, or their shoulder, or whatever, to actually, you know, slow them down and give you a chance to go over there and hogtie them, right? If you shoot them in the torso or in the head, then they die and the mission is a failure, okay? So you manage to do your, your precision shot, you manage to slow them down or, or stop them from moving, or you take your Sunika coup, bro, that automatically hunts them down for you. That would give you a good reason to use them, right? Um, the target is now downed. They're hurting, whatever, uh, or they get, they've get they given up because your performance in killing everything around them was too OP and they're now scared. And now you actually tie them up or put some cuffs on them or something and you throw them on your shoulder. 
The moment you throw them on your shoulder, you as a Tenno can only use your secondary rifles, right? Or melee, depending on which melee it is, I guess, or maybe any melee, it doesn't matter. But you're actually holding them up on your shoulder like this, and you can no longer bullet jump. I think that sounds fair. You can no longer bullet jump. You can run, you can sprint, but you can't bullet jump, right? Okay, now you just have to get to extract. Naturally, you could build the level so that between the vault and extract that there aren't 5,000 tiles, right? So that's a shorter way than when you had to get there, obviously, because it would be annoying if you'd have to jog the whole way. But uh, you can then uh, grab this guy. You have to physically carry them to extract, and then you will put them in your ship and fly away if you get to extraction point, right? Okay. And to kind of round this all off, uh, what you could do is you could decide, you could choose to also maybe um, interrogate the guy in your orbiter or somewhere else, it doesn't matter. You could choose to interrogate him or you can skip and say, fuck it, give him to the Lotus and let her do whatever she thinks uh, is right with him, right? And then he just disappears and you get your reward. Why would you want to interrogate him? Well, first of all, minigame. Second of all, you might, if you do it right, kind of like many like hacking techniques in some games or whatever, or uh, like in the Punisher, you have like a bit of an interrogation uh, situation where if you go too far, you kill them. And if you do it just right, you'll get more information from them. If you do manage to extract the, ex the information from them, then you get an extra boost in reward or whatever, you know, perhaps Operator, you'll get some, some, they'll spill the beans on where there might be another VIP target, like a lich, like a big, big tar target. Um, if you manage to assassinate that target, for example, you'll get like, I don't know, 15,000 Kuva or something from them, you know, something like that. Make it more interesting, more engaging, make it so that we can't just mindlessly go in there and blast everything to smithereens and reward us for playing in different styles. Does that sound like something that is completely impossible for DE to do? I don't think so. I think they could very much implement these things, not within a week, not within a month, probably not all at once, but if they dedicate themselves to saying, all right, let's enhance the experience of each mission a little bit and focus on, let's say, capture first and then exterminate and then this and then that, I think that they could, within a, a not very much time, make the entire game so much more interesting to play. These ideas are brilliant. Hire Jizo at DE. I would love to be there as like a creative advisor or something. I don't know. I would love that. That would, that would be amazing. And the, these kinds of ideas, we've had hundreds of hours probably of streams where I discuss these kinds of ideas with every mission type out there to kind of spice it up and make it feel more like an actual interesting game rather than Ooga Booga, let me press E, right? Which is, you know, the thing that DE also doesn't want. DE wants us to strategize. That's how you do it. Or one way to do it. I'm sure there are dozens of other ways, you know? Nearly good ideas, unfortunately, DE is allergic to those. Yes, bit sad because those things would make Warframe way more fun, but he didn't, uh, but he don't, what, but DE don't want, uh, uh, don't have interest in uh, implementing that. You could tie morality system in uh, to the interrogation. Exactly. There are some people, when I suggest similar ideas to these, uh, there are some people out there that say, Yeah, but I don't want to play capture slowly. I want to play it fast. Well, you can. Take your Wukong the way I just did and just speed through the whole mission until you get to the target and shoot him in the leg. <laughs> done. You know, done. I don't, I don't see what it is. You, If you do it that way, though, you only get... 10,000 credits. If you, um, if you, uh, if you do it stealthily or just cool, like stylish kind of thing, I'm thinking about Devil May Cry when I say stylish. If you do it in a stylish kind of way, stealthier kind of way, then instead of 10,000 credits, you might get 50,000 credits, you know, gains for effort, rewards for going the extra mile, but it would still appease both sides of the player base, the ones that would like to play that way and the ones that would rather just speed through everything, you know?